Look at my junk. So because um I broke that cable, I got another one. So we broke that cable for the touch pad. So we bought one used for four dollars seventy nine cents shipped. Looks like it's the same same amount of pens. It does get folded, so it goes like what the hell? It goes like this, I think, and then like that. Or the other way. No, I think it's like that. So we have to go and hit that. I pinched it over here where it has a little accordion. I don't know how I did that. All right, it. So we gotta take the whole thing apart again. Then we gotta back it up and put a new operating system on it because um, Windows Vista is gone. So let's get started. First, disconnect up, battery, typical stuff. Leaking, don't need that. Don't need this. Covers, take those off. Need some small screwdrivers. These ones, at least the screws don't fall out on them. They have little um, E-clips on the bottom. This is what the hard drive. It doesn't matter the order of it. I marked all these last time too. You have dealers when you take apart a laptop. You have long screws. You have small screws which are over here. These are all small. These are all long. And um, you have silver screws. They're a totally different size. And the trick is you just have to know where all they go. Uh, and then there are short screws over here. You see I tried to put a long one over here and I bulged it. But it's not that bad. So you have to be careful with stuff like that. And assembly will be good. Just note where all the screws are, put them in a good location, mark the screws if you have to. Because even if you do this to your case, you can wipe that off with a little rubbing alcohol if you use marker or whatnot. Or you can just put a little piece of tape one or the other. But yeah, take all this crap off. Oh, this was a DV6 laptop, but it'll be in the description anyway. But we'll just mention that. It's a 1000 series, but the other series they had is similar. So you gotta take all this stuff off. Get yourself a screwdriver like that. Get yourself one a little smaller. And you can even magnetize it with a magnet, so it's just barely um, magnetic. This thing has clips on it, so you just kinda gotta pull it when it gets to a certain amount. This is a screw for the um, optical drive. So I gotta take that out. Look, it wasn't even tight because I didn't tighten it up. That is a long screw. And uh, yeah, just keep on going. Hard drive has to come out. That this pops right out. Little connector. This is the wireless card that also has to come out. One little screw. And uh. We'll get all that done. Ram can stay in. You don't have to take the ram out. I'm going to take all the rest of the screws out. Everything you see here. Just mark that these are small. These things are marked 1 and 2. But I just remember the black one is facing this way. And the uh, gray one is facing the other way. But you just have to carefully remove them. These are the Wi-Fi um, antenna. And this goes all the way up by the, um, the screen. So that's that hanging. So you get another screw underneath the hard drive, it's for the keyboard, we're gonna leave those in for now. Actually no, we're gonna take them out. Keyboard's gonna come out first. They are long ones with red Loctite. Some screws have blue Loctite, so just know where they all went. You can apply new Loctite, but I'm thinking about it, I might, I might not. If you have a little power tool that fits this, you can remove these quite easily and quickly instead of using hand tools. Sometimes the screws get stuck in the little valleys, but you tip it over and shake it, 
and uh, it will come out. What else? We got another hidden one over here. This is a one for the keyboard, a long one. Yep. Alright. This drive. This has a little small screw over here, which you can easily miss and break it. It's unique. There's not one screw, another screw on this whole thing. It's like this one. Oops, don't do that. See? It's weird. Only one like it. So that can go on the side. And uh, let's go get more of your screws out. These are all small ones. Four of them. One. This screwdriver is magnetic. One of Windows XP computer. They have lots of them. Need to get rid of them. Magnetic tray is good, or just a little dish, cup, anything. It's organized, likes what likes. See? If you can even see that. Blue Loctite. Alright, I won't bore you with this. We're taking everything else out. And all the screws are removed on the bottom. There's a bunch of them. You're going to wind up scraping this thing a little bit. But you have to take this off. It's going to be more sucked on than that. I didn't clip it on last time. Because I knew I was going to take it apart again. Oops. Be very careful. Underneath this you have ribbon cables. But just leave those like that for now. Screw, 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 three screws, silver. One, two, three, and it gets the keyboard off. That's how you change the keyboard. You don't have to remove all the screws I removed to change the keyboard. Just the ones that are marked keyboard. It's a little symbol. You can figure it out. That's this one off. And, uh, yeah. You get the screws off. This moves the keyboard like so. This little black retainer, you just wiggle that out. Keyboard is free. Now I have to find the screw that I lost over here. There we go, it's right there. Alright, got it. Now these are just little ribbon cables. Be very careful for this little power button thing. You can get that out of here. Did I damage those? No. I don't know how I screwed up this one. It's, it's just all crinkly. This is the mouse cable. We're not there yet. I, I wrecked it. I don't know how I did it. <sighs> Alright. Uh, now the screen has to come off. But first we gotta take the speaker thing off. And uh, fish all these wires up. This tape's not gonna work. Use some other tape. That. Remember the routing? That was the uh, wireless card. Alright, so this just has one, one, two, three, four, five screws that have to come off. I believe they're small. They're small um, ones blue, with blue Loctite. So the screen has to come off to get this whole bottom frame off. It's stupid. That's how they made it. They want to deter you people from taking apart their machine and I want you to just throw everything out these days. Right, so that's one of those. Put it in the middle. Just group them, you know, when they come out. Group the like screws and you won't have any problems. Let me get all those out. Come on, my magnetism is not working well on my screwdriver. I'm just happy once this is done, we can upgrade it. Take all your stuff off for first, then upgrade it. And... That'd be awesome. This thing, does this thing have a... Yeah, that's right, it has this cable over here. I was like, how's that gonna work? Yeah, cable over there. I'm forgetting already. And then this will just come off the speaker assembly. Now what do you have? You got this VGA cable, pull this thing up. That's for the um, monitor. That should just pop up, but it's not. 
Hold on. Probably broke the little pull tape, pull tab cable thing. There we go, like that. And then uh, I'll probably take this, get this monitor out of here. Let's just unplug all this crap over here. Bam. This I can probably leave in this is for something else. And uh, yeah, take the monitor off. Four screws. One, two, three, four. Once you get those four screws off, the monitor just lifts right off. You need to remove the monitor because there's more screws underneath here. There's three. One, two, three. Heat sink for the fan. That's why I originally took this apart. Your laptop was overheating. Now it is not. They're small screws. So, group them in an area. And we got one weird silver screw to uh, ruin your day. Now I think I should be able just to pry up this and I should just all fold off. It should. I think I can leave these cables on. I hope so because they just go to over here. These got this one. And then you pop those clips in the back then it will come off. Then it comes off. Oh yeah. That's the trick. Uh, this is a stupid ribbon cable. Get that off. Just pull it. it. It's garbage. I don't know how. I still don't know how I broke this thing. I don't know. Then we can flip it over, and there's our little cable that we're trying to get it. All right, let's go change that out. I still don't know how you get these mouse pads out. The contacts. Hopefully, that's not busted. I don't think it is. 2009. It's a new, brand new machine. And uh, I want the motherboard out. Take, uh, take off this little ribbon cable. There's a screw underneath there. Take all that off, and the whole thing's off. Then you can take the heat sink off and clean it, which I already did. Looks brand new. Actually, had a lock door. We didn't take that off. Hopefully, we didn't damage the pins. And. Uh, that little brown thing. This one doesn't though on the board. It just plugs straight in. Alright, then after you play around with your position, I think that's correct. I put a little tape on it too. And that cable. Hopefully it's not broken. The old one is definitely snapped and uh, the contacts were just ruined on it. I don't know how I did this. But it's all crinkly over here. It's like flattened. Dead. I don't know how I did it. But we did it. Oh, I think that one's still good. Hopefully it will stay good. It wasn't positioned right when I tightened it down. It snapped it. I don't know how. But amateur laptop repair. Let's go. Let's reassemble it. Speaker, you know, the screws, the, the screw, and so forth. And then you gotta put it all back together. We skipped a bunch of steps because I got so concerned about that um, ribbon cable being uh, installed but then you know everything over here is just long screws I'm using Loctite because these things are getting kind of dry and uh, should be good so remember to leave this one out last because that's the one you had to put the drive in hopefully the mouse pad works now oh no I put the old cable back in some screws will it turn on and will it work will the mouse work we just don't know do we? That's how you do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Because the first laptops I took apart did not go back together. And I'm, I'm serious when I said that. So organize everything and it's easy. You don't even need manual. I looked at a manual for this, but if you're unsure, you can use a manual. But with time, you won't need to. Alright. On our way to upgrading it, maybe. Yeah. It works. Check this out. Stop that. Wee! Look. Wee! Remember when you were a kid and you first got to use a computer? That was like the first thing, like the mouse. All the kids were going, Wee! Look at that! Whoa! We got a mouse! Because like the early computers didn't have a mouse. Or you had a laptop with a little thing in the middle before the mouse pad. So when you had the mouse pad, you were, Whoa! 
mouse pad. Whoa. That was one, I don't know, it was probably five, not a little older than five, maybe six, six or seven years old. When you had the computer, uh, Windows 3.1 with the turbo button. And we were that old and we were joking about turbos, we were that young. Going, turbo! So, that's cool. That was the broken thing. So, awesome. Very happy. Now I gotta back up this turd and uh, change it over to seven. Good luck. And I gotta sell some straw. They won $5 discount. <laughs>